The school started in 2008 and we started very basic. We had a small mud structure with a palm leaf roof on over top. We had three teachers um, with basic education um, who were from the community and 30 students. And today we have eight classrooms, a head teacher's office, a library, and we have 130 students and 10 staff working at the school. We're able to partner with organizations that can come in and do training on ICT that are able to donate things like the Kindles that, you know, provide um, incredible resources. So ICT stands for Information, Communication, and Technology. What it means for us in Ghana, just like electronic learning tools, computers, um, using the internet um, to, you know, access information, but also to learn. If you're in a remote part of the world like this and you didn't have access to the internet or to electronic learning tools, you would just be limited. Um, it just opens up a whole world. And that's something that a lot of schools in Ghana don't have right now. They don't have those resources. They don't have people on staff that have the expertise to teach them how to utilize those resources, um, not just to learn, but to you know, problem solve and to come up with solutions um, for their community. So that's what we started thinking about in 2012 how we could really make this school sustainable. We were building our own resources, we were um, updating our school structures, we were building new classrooms, we were doing teacher trainings, we built a library, um, we got laptops, we have an e-reader program. We, have, we really focused on building up this educational experience for a rural community. We're, we're now entering a new phase for the ACA project where we have this great library, we have this great space, and we're looking at how we can bring more children from rural communities to access the educational resources that we have. With your support, we can be able to expand our programs and reach more children so that they too can have greater educational opportunity.